The Black Barrier refers to the ionospheric region in the Earth's atmosphere, which produces ionization under the influence of solar radiation. The ion density in the Black Barrier area is lower than that of the surrounding area, forming a hole-like area, which causes greater interference and attenuation to the transmission of radio waves and high-energy particles. The Black Barrier is formed because molecules and atoms such as oxygen and nitrogen in the Earth's atmosphere are ionized by solar radiation, forming a large number of free electrons and ions. These ions and electrons drift and diffuse under the action of electric and magnetic fields, forming a complex ionospheric structure. Under certain conditions, black barriers can form in areas with lower ion density. This black barrier will bring huge challenges to the control and safety of the aircraft, and will also affect the stealth performance and combat effectiveness of the aircraft. The existence of black barriers has caused great troubles to aerospace communications because it will cause interference and attenuation of signal transmission and even cause the signal to be unable to be transmitted. When astronauts and spacecraft pass through the Earth's atmosphere, black obstructions will have a greater impact on communication equipment and spacecraft. Therefore, black barrier technology is a major problem in aerospace science and technology, and it is also a technical difficulty that countries around the world are competing to overcome. In order to overcome the interference and attenuation of aerospace communications caused by black barriers, scientists have proposed a series of solutions, including the use of high-frequency radio waves, the use of optical communication technology, and the use of laser communication technology. These technologies have overcome the interference and attenuation of communication caused by black obstacles to varying degrees, improving the reliability and real-time performance of aerospace communications. The black barrier is a phenomenon in the ionospheric region of the Earth's atmosphere. It causes interference and attenuation of the transmission of radio waves and high-energy particles. Therefore, communication within the black barrier has always been a difficulty and bottleneck in the field of aerospace communications. The main problem with communication within a blackout is signal attenuation. The ion density in the black barrier area is lower than that in the surrounding area, forming a hole-like area. This kind of cavity will cause a large attenuation of the transmission of electromagnetic waves, and the shape and position of the black barrier are unstable. Therefore, the degree of signal attenuation during the communication process will also change with changes in time and spatial location, which brings great challenges to the stability and real-time performance of communication. Secondly, another problem with communication within a black barrier is signal interference. The ionospheric structure in the black barrier area is very complex, and ions and electrons in the ionosphere will drift and diffuse. This will lead to multipath propagation and frequency dispersion of signals, causing interference and distortion of communication signals. In addition, there will be strong electromagnetic noise and stray signals in the black barrier area, which will also affect the quality and stability of communication signals. Then the signal transmission rate of communication within the black barrier is also a problem. Due to the influence of signal attenuation and interference in the blackout area, the transmission rate of communication signals is often relatively low. This is not suitable for some application scenarios that require high-speed data transmission. In addition, there is a high signal delay in the black barrier area, which will also affect the real-time and stability of the communication signal. Finally, technical solutions for communication within the black barrier are relatively limited. At present, 
The main methods to solve the communication problem within the black barrier include the use of high-frequency radio waves, the use of optical communication technology, the use of laser communication technology, etc. But these technologies have some limitations. For example, high-frequency radio waves are susceptible to frequency dispersion and multipath effects. Optical communication technology requires a clear line of sight between the light source and receiver, while laser communication technology needs to face problems such as atmospheric turbulence and beam deflection. These will affect the quality and stability of communication signals. To sum up, communication within a black barrier is a technical problem, mainly due to issues such as signal attenuation, signal interference, and signal transmission rate. Although scientists have proposed some solutions, more research and technological innovation are still needed to overcome these problems to achieve efficient, stable, and real-time communication within blackout areas. China used high-frequency radio waves for communication on Shenzhou 15. High-frequency radio waves have higher frequencies and shorter wavelengths than low-frequency radio waves, which can better penetrate the ionospheric hole and reduce signal attenuation and interference. In the Shenzhou 15th mission, the communication system used S-band frequencies. Radio waves of this frequency can penetrate the lower layers of the black barrier, enabling communication with the ground and the Tiangong Space Laboratory. In order to reduce signal attenuation and interference during the entire process, signal enhancement technology is also adopted. This technology mainly builds a relay channel between Shenzhou 15 and the ground. The signal is transmitted from Shenzhou 15 to the ground, and then transmitted to the designated receiver through the ground relay station, thereby achieving signal enhancement and transmission. In the Shenzhou 15th mission, high-power transmitters and receivers were used in the relay channel which can achieve efficient signal transmission in black obstruction areas. But it doesn't end here. In order to better improve and achieve efficient signal transmission and stability, relevant personnel also used adaptive modulation technology. In the Shenzhou 15th mission, the communication system adopted adaptive phase modulation technology to adaptively adjust the phase according to the channel conditions to improve the signal transmission rate and stability. However, through various experiments and related conclusions, researchers finally achieved communication within the black barrier, which also provided valuable experience and technology accumulation for the development of China's manned space engineering. The breakthrough in communication technology within the black barrier of Shenzhou 15 is a major achievement in the fields of China's aerospace technology and aerospace communications, laying the foundation for major projects such as China's exploration of deep space and construction of space stations. This technological breakthrough will also promote the development of global aerospace communication technology and promote the innovative development of information technology and communication technology. China Aerospace Science and Technology has recently made breakthrough progress in black barrier technology. On November 24, 2023, China successfully launched the Shenzhou 13 spacecraft carrying two astronauts and a Tianhe core module for a six-month space mission. This is a historic leap for China's aerospace science and technology, and also a major breakthrough for China's aerospace science and technology in black barrier technology. It is reported that China aerospace science and technology has adopted an innovative method in black barrier technology. It utilizes the high-temperature gas layer on the surface of the aircraft and converts it into a beneficial resource, 
thereby realizing the normal operation of the aircraft's radar, communication, navigation, and other systems, and effectively overcoming the influence of the Black Barrier. This method not only improves the control and safety of the aircraft, but also improves the stealth performance and combat effectiveness of the aircraft, winning praise and respect from the world for China's aerospace technology. First, China Aerospace Science and Technology's Black Barrier technology reflects the strength and innovation of China Aerospace Science and Technology. It illustrates the status and role of China's aerospace science and technology in the aerospace field, and also demonstrates the confidence and determination of China's aerospace science and technology. It makes us feel proud of China's aerospace science and technology. Second, China's aerospace science and technology's black barrier technology has promoted the development and growth of China's aerospace science and technology. It provides strong support and guarantee for the future plans and goals of China's aerospace science and technology and also provides favorable conditions and opportunities for new challenges and opportunities for China's aerospace science and technology, making us full of expectations and confidence in China's aerospace science and technology. The third is China's aerospace science and technology's black barrier technology, which has inspired the creation and exploration of China's aerospace science and technology. It provides new ideas and methods for the new fields and directions of China's aerospace science and technology, and also provides new solutions and breakthroughs for new problems and problems in China's aerospace science and technology, making us full of imagination and dreams for China's aerospace science and technology. In short, the Black Barrier technology of China Aerospace Science and Technology is an amazing technology and a great technology. It not only demonstrates the strength and innovation of China's aerospace science and technology, but also explains the significance and influence of China's aerospace science and technology, as well as the future prospects and expectations of China's aerospace science and technology. We should be proud of and admire the Black Barrier technology of China's aerospace science and technology, and we should also be excited and look forward to the prospects and potential of China's aerospace science and technology. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.